James in the Net News Ledger studio. I'm here with Nancy with the Chamber of Commerce. Nancy, you have an amazing event coming up. We sure do. We're pretty excited. We're going into our fourth year already in this event. It's the Prosperity Northwest Business Forum. And it is just a terrific event for local and regional businesses. Mm -hmm. It is a great opportunity to kind of connect with other business people, see what opportunities are there to grow your business, to sort of partner and see where you can maybe supply other businesses. So it's a great, great networking opportunity. Now, when's this coming up? It's coming up on September 24th. It's a full day from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Valhalla. And it ties in with the, our, the Chamber Monthly After Business, which mm -hmm. is going to be taking place at the end of it from 5 till 7 p.m. And as well, it's the opening reception that evening for the Northwestern Ontario Regional Conference, which is coming to town for the two days following. Now, for the, the conference, there's going to be some speakers. There is. We have three main presentations going on. Andrea Holmes from the Ontario Chamber of Commerce is coming to town and she's going to be releasing a report that the Ontario Chamber just did in terms of workplace and skilled labour, the, the challenges and the solutions. As well, Madge Richardson from Thunder Bay, the North Superior Workforce Planning Board, is going to be adding sort of a local flavor to that presentation. So really valuable for a lot of maybe human resource people out there mm -hmm. that are going to be looking at uh, adding to their workforce. So Excellent. that presentation is taking place as well as we have a mining one, two representatives, one from Rubicon and one from New Gold. And they're going to be opening their mines within the next year and they're currently looking for suppliers. There's huge money to be made lots of opportunity for businesses. They then are going to host a procurement power hour yes. where you can pre-register um, ahead of time and book appointments and have 10 minute appointments to sort of introduce yourself to them and tell them what you do. So that's a real benefit then as a chamber member if you've got products that the mining sector is going to need and that can be anywhere from accounting services right to heavy industrial equipment. And that's just it. I think a lot of people tend to think that this show is geared towards mining manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Food services, uh, office supplies, any type of, you know, any if you basically promote to other business or sell mm -hmm. to other business, you should be there. And it's not just mining companies. There's small and large businesses. There's a real, real variety of sectors there. Now, are there spaces left? There is very, very limited exhibit space. Uh, since September started, everybody's back to work. We're down to probably about five or six exhibit spaces left, but there certainly is opportunity as well to attend for the day. You can come in and purchase for a day pass mm -hmm. where you come in for the keynote presentation, the lunch and the coffee breaks, the after business included, mm -hmm. or you there is a period where you can come in just for a couple hours to visit where you don't take part in the presentations as well. Okay, so for those four or five members out there who still haven't signed up, what do they do? Uh, go to the Chamber website, tbchamber.ca slash prosperity. They can call us at the office, myself or Kayla, 624-2621. And if you want to go on the website and register, you can do that. Keep it very simple. But certainly, if you're looking at exhibiting, I encourage you to, uh, to act now because we will be sold out shortly. So Prosperity Northwest with the Chamber of Commerce, and I'm James with Net News Ledger.